in an examination there are three papers and a candidate has to get 70 percentage of the total to pass in one paper he gets 132 out of 190 190 and he scored 132 and he gets 146 out of 210 how much he should get out of 230 marks in third paper to pass right pass percentage is equal to 70 percentage total how many marks are there let's calculate that 190 210 400 400 plus 230 630 out of 630 we need to get 70 percentage 10 percentage is equal to 63 70 percentage in the sense into 7 67 times 420 7 3 is 21 420 21 441 these many number of marks we need to get already he scored 278 if you subtract 278 then we will get number of marks that are required in third paper to pass the examination this fellow is 22 less than 300 and this fellow is 141 more than 300 141 plus 22 that is equal to 163 that's it 163 marks you need to score in third paper then only he will get pass 163 first option next the percentage of loss incurred by selling a mobile phone for 26,250 is equal to the percentage of profit this is already done repeated question if the total price of 7 shirts and then 4 trousers is equal to 2164 7 shirts and then 4 trousers is equal to 21 and then 64 and 4 shirts and then 3, three trousers 4 shirts and then 3 trousers is equal to 14,008 now what is the difference between the price of shirt and then price of the trouser now if you consider these as two different equations directly without with without simplification we will not get the answer for this question there must be some sort of simplification required for this so using two linear equations we need to solve and then we need to get the answer right so this particular question takes some time better to skip the question otherwise you know how to calculate how to answer linear equation questions let's multiply first one with three and then second one with four 20, 20 gets cancelled, then the difference will be equal to 21s, 16s. 16 and then 21, difference is equal to 5 shirts price, is equal to 3 times of this number, 6000, 16, 160, 3 times, that is equal to 480, 480 plus 12, 492 minus 4 times of this number, 1400, 4 times is equal to 5600, 8, 4 times is equal to 32. Now using this we can identify how much is shirt price. Once after getting shirt price you can substitute that in either first equation or in second equation and then we will get trouser cost and then finally we need to calculate difference between shirt price and then trouser price. This is the way. So it is a simplification only. I hope you can do that. Let me start next question 104. Alpesh distributed a certain amount of money among his four sons PQRS. He first gave 5 twelfth and then 2 seventh of the whole amount to PQ respectively. After that he gave 4 ninth of the remaining money to R. If S got 6875, what amount did Q get? Okay, now I would like to start our total sum of money which was divided among PQRS as LCM of denominators LCM of denominators now that will be instead of that you can directly multiply them also 12 into 7 that is equal to 84 84 9 times 84 10 times minus 84 instead of subtracting 84 you can subtract 100 later add 16 then it becomes 756 756 parts now out of this he is giving 5 12th to p then p will get 5 into 1 12th of this number 1 12th of this number 6 times of 12 is 72 and then you have theta 63 5 times in the sense am i right right yes 63 5 times in the sense 315 
so 315 parts goes to p and then q is getting 2 7th 1 7th is equal to 1 0 8 2 7th in the sense 1 0 8 2 times that is equal to 216 parts you can stop it here because 216 that's what we need to calculate this fellow is 9 multiple answer should be 9 multiple first option is 9 multiple this may be your answer second option is not 9 multiple this cannot be your answer third option is not 9 multiple this cannot be your answer fourth is not 9 multiple this cannot be your answer fifth is 9 multiple there are two options left hence we have to solve it now out of the remaining money how much is already over 531 is over out of this, if 531 is over, remaining value is equal to 225. Out of this, he gave 4 7th to R and S will get 5 7th. S will get 5 7th. 5, sorry, 5 9th. 1 9th of this number is 25. 5 9th in the sense, 125. 125 parts is the amount received by S. Yes which is equal to 6875 now you need to calculate 216 parts is equal to how much now 125 5 times is equal to 625 600 600 cancel out of 87 if 25 we subtracted again 62 we have and then 5 times 62 5 times 625 again 125 5 times is there so, when you need to calculate 216, 55 times, that is 50 times plus again half of that. Otherwise, 55 is 11 multiple. Your answer also should be 11 multiple. Is your first option 11 multiple? Yes. You know that already three options eliminated. First and fifth among those two only, we have our answer. First option is 11 multiple. Fifth is not 11 multiple. Hence, 11,880 is our final answer. We are verifying 9 multiplication rule as well as 11 multiplication rule. Come on. Next, first option. One quantity of rice at 38 rupees per kg mixed with another quantity of rice in the respect to ratio 3 is to 4. If the mixer so formed be worth of 54 rupees per kg, what is the rate per kg of the second variety? First variety price is 38 rupees. Second variety we don't know. When we mix it them, the mixer cost is 54 rupees. And now both of the quantities are mixed in the ratio 3 is to 4. So it is 3 parts and this is 4 parts. Difference between both the numbers is equal to 16. Difference between both the numbers is equal to 16. If 4 parts is equal to 16, 3 parts is equal to 12. Then this number should be 54 plus 62. Uh, sorry 54 plus 12 that is equal to 66 66 rupees is the cost of the second variety that is equal to second option we are using allegation method a person was appointed as a teacher and received a salary of 2500 per month in his first year of teaching with expectations of being paid 2550 per month in the next year that is second year and 2600 per month in the third year and so on. Find the total salary he expects to have received by the end of three years. By the end of three years, they are saying. Now, first year, every month he will get 2,500 rupees and per year he will get 12 into 12. This is first month salary, uh, first year salary. Second year, every month he will get 2,550. Yearly salary is equal to 2,550 into 12, second year salary. Third year, every month he gets 2,600. Third year salary is equal to into 12. And then you need to simplify everything. Instead of this, if you observe these values, 2,500, 2,550, 2,600. These are all consecutive numbers with a difference of 50. For consecutive numbers, middle number is average. So average salary for all three years is equal to 2,000. 550 and you need to calculate total salary received for three years three years in the sense how many months average salary we got it as 2550 and then three years in the sense how many months 36 months answer should be this much now you can treat this fellow as 2500 plus 50 for 2500 is equal to 10,000 like that how many fours are here nine fours are there 
So 4 into 2,500 is 10,000 into 9, 90,000. And then how much more we have 50? 50, 36 times in the sense 1,800. Then that is total value is equal to 90,000 plus 1,800. 91,800. 91,800 second option is our final answer. Otherwise, before going to the simplification, this fellow is 9 multiple. Answer should be 9 multiple. If you verify it, First option is 9 multiple, second option is also 9 multiple. There are two 9 multiples. If there is only one 9 multiple, you don't have to solve it. Come on. A boat goes from point A to point B upstream and then returns from B to A downstream. If the total round trip takes a boat 12 hours and the distance between point A to B is 40 kilometers. What is the speed of the stream if the speed of the boat in still water is 12? 40 kilometers traveled in downstream. Downstream in the sense M plus S. M is equal to 12. That is equal to 12 plus S. And the same 40 kilometers is traveled in down upstream. Upstream is equal to M minus S. This is time to cover distance in up, downstream. This is time to cover distance in upstream. And the total time is given as 12 hours. Total time is given as 12 hours. Now, 12 plus yes and then 12 minus yes both should be factors of 40. If you verify first e equation, otherwise you can take one more thing also. Simplify simplification here. 4, 10 times, 4, 10 times, 4, 3 times. Take 10 common left hand side numerator, take that to right hand side, that becomes 3 by 10. Now when you go for LCM of left hand side values, that is 1 by 12 plus yes, 1 by 12 minus s it must be a multiple of 10 let's verify options when you substitute for 16 and then 8 will you get 10 multiple no way this cannot be the one 6 12 plus 6 18 12 minus 6 6 lcm of 12 uh, 18 and then 6 will you be getting 10 multiple no way if you substitute 8 value here that is 1 by 20 and then 1 by 4 there may be a chance of getting 10 multiple here. Let's calculate that. If S is equal to 8, 1 by 20 plus 1 by 4. LCM is equal to 60. 23 times here, 4, 15 times. 15 plus 3, 18. 6, 3 times here, 6, 10 times here, 3 by 10. 18 by 60 is equal to 3 by 10. Condition satisfied for the option third. Third option is final answer. Done. How much money should he invest at 5% per annum for 3 years to earn? 3 fourth of the simple interest of what? 2400 will yield 6 years at 4% per annum. Okay. Now, how much interest is there here? 24 percentage of which number? 2400. Interest obtained is equal to 24 percentage of 2400. This is interest obtained on second scheme. Interest on first scheme is equal to 3 fourth of interest on second scheme. That is equal to 3 by 4 into this number. And on how much money we are get, we will get. How much money we will get in a sense? Principally is how much. At the rate of 5 percentage for 3 years, we will get 15 percentage. So that is 15 percentage of principal is equal to this much. Percentage, percentage gets cancelled. 4, 6 times a year. 3, 5 times here, 5, 480 here. Now, your answer is equal to 6 times of 480. 6 times of 480 in the sense, you can verify last digit. We have 0, we will get 0. 6 into 8, 48. Answer should end with 80. How many options are ending with 80? 80, there is only one. That is 2880. Final answer. Done. Now, these are all approximations. 5550 divided by 50. Now, 5550 divided by 50 we have. 0, 0 gets cancelled. 5, triple 1 times. 5, triple 1 times. Approximate 110. Next. 18 cube we have. 18 square, 324. 324 into 18. We will take something like 324, 20 times minus 2 times. 324, 2 times is 6, 4, 8. 20 times is this much. And 2 times is 648. Now, 
80 minus 48 that is equal to 32. 64 minus 6 is equal to 58. Answer 5832 approximate first option answer. Now let me treat this number as 24 into 19 into 8. 19 into 8. Now observe this. Here it has to be 23. 23 into 152. 23 times of 152. Now I will take 150, 152, 20 times and then 3 times. 152, 2 times is equal to 304. 20 times is equal to 3040. 152, 3 times is equal to 456. Total 3496. 3496 approximate answer third option.